Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be my uh, shop my stash for the next two weeks. We're gonna go first through the drawer, the stuff that I have in here. From the past two weeks, we're gonna take some stuff out and then we're gonna go ahead and shop my stash for new items. If you're new here, hi, I'm Rania. I hope you subscribe and uh, you stick around. If you don't know what shop my stash is, like I said, it's basically where I go through my collection and pick some new item to play with for the next it's gonna be every two weeks for me, usually every two weeks. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I didn't wear as much makeup the past two weeks as I thought I was going to. Uh, my skin just went through some really rough stages. It was really dry and flaky in certain spots and then I got some uh, acne. Something's breaking me out. Um, so I didn't wear as much makeup but I did wear quite a bit of the stuff that's here. I have a general idea of when I, what I want to keep and what I want to take out. Um, so let's just go ahead and get through it. I am going to take out this Too Faced powder foundation. I really like it. Um, I like to apply it on top of that uh, Charlotte Tilbury like flawless filter for whatever it is called. Um, I put that all over my face and then I buffed this all over it. It's absolutely beautiful. I am going to take it out. I am going to go ahead and keep this Milani Prep Set and Glow. I'm keeping this. I do want to take the Joa Selfie Ready Setting Powder out in Banana. Uh, it Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if it's because that my skin was so dry and flaky in certain spots, but this made me feel so dry. Um, I think I tried it three different times and it just sucked all three times. Again, um, I'm not going to make a judgment because my skin was going through something. So I am going to keep it in my collection for now. I will be revisiting this product and I might have to declutter it because I don't know. might not be the best for me. I am going to take out the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. I'm taking that out. Uh, from here, I do have the Hourglass uh, Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Kind of want to keep this guy. I also want to keep the Laura Mercier Powder in here. And uh, I might take this one out because I do have a new powder from Hourglass that I want to use or a new palette that I want to use. So I'm going to take this one out. And then I did it again, you guys. I put this in here because I thought I was going to use it. I ended up not using it. Let's just go ahead and, and it's the, I'm going to take it out. I, I'm not going to keep it in here for now. Um, I did not use this Wet n Wild powder at all, a bronzer, sorry, I didn't use it at all. I am going to take out the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer as well as the CoverGirl Valorist Healthy Powder. I use this as a bronzer as well, so I'm going to take both of these out. And I'm taking all of these out actually. The Milani bronzer, this kind of smelled like the Physician's Formula bronzer. It definitely has that buttery sun screen, sun tanning lotion kind of smell. I am going to take it out. I am taking out the Milani highlight. Uh, this wasn't as intense as I thought it was going to be, but it was really beautiful. And then I'm going to take out the Tarte blush in Party. This is all coming out. Um, let's go ahead and actually talk about the like face palettes in here. Self-X, Revolution Self-X. This was beautiful. Um, I used pretty much all of these over here in this one. The only two shades I didn't use are these two, but this is absolutely stunning. I'm going to take it out. Um, the Cheek Leaders Mini Bronze Squad. I think I want to keep this in here. Uh, other than swatching the bronzer, I don't think I used it on my face, but I did use the blush and the highlight. The highlight is uh, so pretty, like gorgeous. Um, I think I'm going to keep it in here. Mm. Do I want to keep it or do I want to take it out? Um, let's see. I do have a lot of other palettes. I'm going to take it out. I really need to start rotating through my new makeup and just that, that stash just keeps on growing. The Morphe Bronzer, Face and Body Bronzer, and this is the shade Icon. This is the lightest shade. Uh, this actually was really nice. I didn't use it on my body. I only use it on my face and I actually really enjoyed it. But I am going to move it out of here. I'm going to put something else in. Jouer Bouquet D'Amour, the six shade blush palette. This guy is so pretty as well. I used these four shades in here. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. 
I was pretty happy with this palette. It's so like soft formula, very blendable. They're coming out with a like a face powder. Um, I have been thinking about picking it up. So I think it launches like pretty soon. Maybe the same day as this comes up and then the rest of our eyeshadow palettes will come to those in a little bit. Let's, we are gonna take out the setting spray. This is the CoverGirl Look Lock Up. I am gonna take it out. And I also had in here the Elf Hydrating Coconut Mist. I mean, like I'm so close about to finishing this guy. Um, the fact that I haven't been wearing too much makeup, this has been really, really nice. I would just spritz it on my face and it's just give me a really nice natural glow. I do have a backup of this bottle because I really love it that much. So I think I'm going to keep this out, not necessarily just here. I do want to use it. I, I would like to get it out of my collection, use it up. But this I am putting back in my collection, the CoverGirl Look Lock Up. It is pretty nice, but I find that if I had blended a lot on my eye and I spray that, it kind of irritates my eyes um so sometimes I will have to cover like my eyes and then don't spritz my eyes as much as I would spritz my face but it is pretty nice um mascaras that are staying uh these I, I need to finish some mascaras um let's go ahead and take out these concealers I am going to take out the ColourPop no filter concealer this is too light for me I use it to lighten my foundations but I haven't had to reach for it in a while so I'm going to take it out the Milani Conceal and Perfect this is very lightweight it's not very thick not very full coverage but it's pretty nice um when I used it with uh, a sponge I felt like the sponge kind of soaked up a lot of this product so I don't know I am gonna take it out actually I didn't use this guy only like one time so I want to keep it in this is the Ulta Beauty full cover concealer so I am gonna keep this in um, I did go ahead and add in here this elf brow wow brow like the fiber mascara I'm gonna keep it in here all of these I am gonna keep in here um, but these I'm gonna take out uh, let's talk about these eyeshadows. They're so beautiful and I did use both of them. The Melted Chrome Eyeshadows by Essence. I am going to take them out but they are stunning. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, like just one shadow look or if you know you just need a little pop of color or shimmer on the eye like brightens up the whole look really beautiful i did use both i am i do want to take both of them out um for lip products i am gonna take them all out i don't think i'm decluttering anything they're all coming out uh, i really like well all of them i did add this guy in here i don't know if i had it last time but this is the bite um i think it was was this a birthday gift this is the shade uh glacé I think this might have been the birthday gift from Sephora. I did add it in here. Um, I, I don't know if it's a shade for me. So I am going to keep this guy in here. But everything else I am going to take out. I do really like all of these. So they are going back into my collection. I did go ahead and also add the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer Mascara. I don't know why I decided to open it. To open it but I did open it. Kind of regret doing that. Because my lashes have been doing really well. Since I've been using that Grande Lash Serum. But I opened it. I need to use it and just be done with it. With it this bare mineral combo control um milky face primer it says balanced wow i really enjoyed this guy i was very surprised at how much i enjoyed it so it's going back into my collection now this primer by elf the poreless face primer it has that silicone feel like i don't know you guys it's not really my favorite sort of primer not like not really my favorite type of primer um i don't know but again, I don't really want to judge it because my skin was going through something. It feels really, really nice. So I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it and I'll have to revisit it again. Kind of like that It Cosmetics powder. Just because like my skin was just messed up these past two weeks. So I'm not going to declutter it just yet. Um, I totally forgot about this eyeliner. I should have put it in here so I didn't use it. And then these mascaras are going to go into my empties. Uh, they're, I, I've used them so much and they've been open for more than three months. So it's time for them 
to go into like my mascara empties okay let's talk about the revolution uh, foundation i hadn't opened i i didn't pull this side the f12 last time i only pulled the f7 the f7 was a really nice match it just needed a little tiny bit of darkening so i opened the f12 um to kind of contour a little and then add a little bit of darkening this foundation is beautiful even with my skin being all messed up this was really beautiful i felt like it kind of set by itself you didn't need to like really set the face it was really pretty i really enjoyed it which is why i opened the f12 i knew i wasn't gonna return it but i am gonna pull it out and then the same with these foundations, which are the CYO Long Lasting Foundation, the Life Proof. I really enjoyed them. I use the 105 a little bit more than I use the 104. I need more of this than I need of this, but them together um, give me a really good match. It might be like too light for me for the summertime, so I don't know if I'll buy one more shade or if I'll just use like dark darkening drops. Um, but these were really beautiful. And then for eyeshadow palettes, I am going to take all of these out. Uh, I don't know. So I used the Naked Heat by Urban Decay because I wasn't sure if I want to pick up the Tarte Toasted um, during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. And actually, I did not. Um, I, f I don't know. I was kind of disappointed with the eyeshadow look. Like, these worked beautifully. They blended so nicely and everything. But my look just looked a little lacking dimension. Uh, I'm not gonna declutter it, but I am gonna pull it out. I'll have to pull it in some other time. And then the Bronze Ambition by uh, Pat McGrath. This guy's beautiful. Like, it's not going anywhere. It is so easy to use for like, um, like easy, like to go to work kind of look. I just put this guy all over my crease. I darken my outer V with this and any of these shades kind of like all over the lid. This is a brow highlight. It's easy. It's really beautiful. It's easy to work with too so um it's not going anywhere but it's just coming out of here for now and then the last thing that was in here the last eyeshadow palette is the color pop it's my pleasure honestly i didn't reach for it at all this time around but i am gonna take it out um uh, I'm gonna put something else in. i had done like a i'd done a look with this before pulling into pulling in pulling it into my stash goodness can I talk um, and I really like the look that I created but I am gonna go ahead and pull it out I do want to put something else in here um, play with something else and then this is this is pretty much it I have two brow pencils in here that just basically stay so let me go ahead and clear up the mess and then let's uh, shop my stash. Alrighty, you guys. So this is the first drawer, like new makeup drawer. I finally, finally got my boxy lux for the month of March. Uh, I signed up and then I canceled because they took forever. They never responded to my emails, my customer service, like contacted them about four times. Anyway, I finally got my box. I did put the items in here. It was like in April, so it wasn't even worth doing a, you know, like a unboxing. Uh, I did get the 15D Day Slayer eyeshadow palette. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna pull it out pull it in this time though. I did pick up this profusion contour palette Which I do really want to pull in so I'm gonna bring this guy in um, For foundation, I think I'm finally gonna go ahead and try this guy. This is the Maybelline uh, Superstay full coverage foundation. This is the shade 128, which is warm nude I think it might be just a little tiny bit dark for me But I'm starting to get kind of get a tan unintentionally. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this in I do really want to try um, this concealer and then setting spray by Joa. Uh, on their website, they're having like buy one, get one free. Um, and I think if you sign up, you can get 20% off or 15% off, like sign up with email so you can get 15 or 20% off your order. It's like free shipping for a $15 purchase, so it's a really good deal. Um, I am going to pull both of these in, the setting spray and the matte, and then the dark circle concealer. What shade did I get? I got the shade Natural Ivory. I don't know how well this is going to work for me, but I am going to pull those two in. Um, I am going to, like I said, I'm not going to pull this in. I'm going to 
put it back. Uh, I did get this uh, No Pore Bloom Primer by Touch and Soul. Was this the February Boxy Charm? Um, so I did get it in there. Do I want to pull it in? Um, I, oh no, I have another primer that I really want to pull in, not that one. Um, I do want to pull this highlighter in and this is by Amuse Cosmetics. It's the Illuminating Loose Powder and I got the shade uh, Whimsical. We'll do swatches when we put everything back in the door. So I'm going to pull that guy in. Um, let's bring in, uh, uh, let's open the next drawer because I do have some other like foundations and stuff like that in there. Maybe let's pull in this lip gloss. This is by Ciate London and I got this in a Ipsy bag and this is lip luster. I don't know what shade this is. Call me, the shade call me. Let's pull that in. Um, and yeah, okay, let's see the next one down. So again, more new makeup. Uh, I did finally go ahead and pick this guy up. Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I'm gonna bring this in. And this is the other, this is the primer that I do wanna pull in, the Ulla Hendrickson Banana, Pri Banana Bright Face Primer. I wanna try this guy out. Um, kept hearing so many good things on about it, so. And you guys, I finally, finally got my hands on the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked. Uh, Hourglass brought it on to their website again um, for supposed to be short time. I don't know if it's still available or, or not, so I went ahead and picked it up. I really wanted it when Sephora had their um, VIP sale in the fall, and I just couldn't get it. So here it is, I finally have it. Um, I do wanna pull this guy in this time around. And then for eyeshadow palette, um, let's go ahead and pull in the Sultry palette by Anastasia. Let's pull that in. I'm gonna pull this guy in. So that, so far just one eyeshadow palette. Ooh, you guys. I did it! Ciate London Jessica Rabbit Collection, the Glitter Storm lipstick. Look how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful the packaging is. And then the, here's the lipstick. It's so pretty. I did use it already, but I put it back in here because it's technically new, but I did use it once. Um, it's really beautiful. Doesn't look like uh, chunks of glitter on the lips or anything like that. It just uh, looks like a kind of like a metallic lipstick. Anyway, I'm not going to pull that in. Let's go ahead and do this guy. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Powder. I'm going to pull this in. Why not? It's probably going to be a couple uses. Um, let's do this eyeshadow palette as well because it has highlighters and all that and then I wouldn't have to shop for highlighters today other than that loose one. This is the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis. Um, I think all of these are supposed to be highlighters. I mean some of them are probably too dark. Who am I kidding? I'll still probably pull a highlighter. So let's bring this in and then um i think that might be it from here for setting sprays i already pulled in the joa selfie ready setting spray um i might just pull in maybe like that um the primer water by smashbox so i want to pull in the small one or the big one let's bring in the big one just i need to, maybe i have to dump those together in one bottle just to reduce space i'm gonna bring this guy in then let's go ahead and move on to primers. For primers, I pulled in that Willa Henriksen Banana Pri Bright Primer. Um, so I just want to pull in maybe just one more primer uh, just in case. Uh, let's do one of these. Um, mm, I know I really like those uh, MAC ones. Let's just bring in one of them. This is the Radiant Yellow. MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance and this is Radiant Yellow. I'm gonna bring that in. I didn't go ahead and get the big size when they had them on sale because I have five small ones which are equivalent to one big size. So I didn't get it during Ulta sale. Um, let's go ahead and go to other eyeshadow palettes. I have two picked out. Let's bring in one more. Actually, I'm sorry. I kind of skipped this drawer um, or skipped mentioning this drawer 
drawer but since I pulled in that uh, face palette by it cosmetics maybe I don't bring in anything from here and I do have a contouring palette that I also pulled in so nothing from this drawer I don't think I'm gonna bring anything from here now let's go ahead and go to eyeshadows so this is one of the eyeshadow palette drawers it's kind of like color pop drugstore kind of thing um I uh I think the ones that I currently have are on the neutral side. You know what? Let's play with a little bit of, um, let's see, shoot, which one do I want to bring in? I think I want to bring in a Juvia's Place one. Uh, do I want to bring in, how about the first Saharan palette? I remember I used to, I, I really liked it. Give me, this will give me a little bit of variety because I have the neutral one by the Sultry and then I have the BH Cosmetics. Or maybe we need a little bit more colorful one. <coughs> this one, it's not that colorful. So let's see, which one is this? Okay, I haven't used this one yet. Let's pull this guy in. This is Juvia's The Festival, or this The Festival by Juvia's. Let's bring this in, and then that will be it for eyeshadow palettes. That, that will be three eyeshadow palettes, and I think I'll be good. I'm not going to go ahead and uh, shop the other two doors for eyeshadow palettes. Let's move into foundation. Let's pick one more foundation. Okay, you guys, so now we are in my uh, foundation drawer. Uh, I pulled in a full coverage one, the one by Maybelline. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull something on the lighter side. And I really have been wanting to use these guys. Um, the Smashbox Studio Skin six, 16, 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Um, I have two of these. One of them is in the shade 2.16, which is light, warm, un, um, warm golden undertone. And one is light, medium, neutral undertone. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead with the neutral one, the light medium neutral. I'm gonna pull this in, and then we had pulled in one concealer, but let's go ahead and bring in another concealer. Um, let's see. Oh goodness. So, I don't know how the Joa one is, honestly. Uh, how about... I'm gonna go ahead and bring in, oh, which one is this one? Oh uh, no, I don't want that one. Um, I'm gonna bring this guy in. I have, I've had it for a while. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin and this is the shade Light Warm. I'm gonna bring this in so that will give me two concealers. Um, yeah, let's bring this in, let's try it. I think I'm good on foundations, like two foundations, that's pretty good. I don't need any more foundations. Um, so that's it from here. Let's go ahead and move on to blushes. Alrighty, so for blushes, other than the one um, blush that is in the Hourglass palette, we don't have any other blushes. So I am gonna shop for a couple. Uh, just right off the bat, the first thing that really caught my eyes in here is this one. This is the MAC, um, I think this was the Mar Mother of Pearl, the Mirage Collection. Um, when I received it, it was shattered, so I repressed it. I actually repressed it into two compacts, this one and this one. Um, this was a bronzer by Tarte that I finished last year, so I repressed in it. Um, but I think this repress was better than this repress. This was too hard. So, anyways, I'm gonna bring in this guy. Uh, it's really actually beautiful when it's all swirled together. So I'm gonna bring this guy in. Um, that's one. Let's get maybe like two more at least. Um, I, I think I really would like two more. That's kind of on the pinky glowy side. Uh, let me see. I'm surprised. Oh, I do have Dolce Pink. I do want to bring in Dolce Pink because I have been hearing um, a lot of people say that it's... Uh, God, is it a dupe for... I can't remember what this is supposed to be a dupe for. So I am going to go ahead and bring it in. It's really beautiful. Again, we'll do swatches later. So that's two and kind of both of these are on the pinky side. So maybe we'll bring in something peachy. Uh, for peachy, 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 the first thing that I think of is this guy, and I don't remember if I had it in recently or not. Um, yeah, either this one or, but this guy is just so bulky. 
let's bring this in this is the peach peach by uh, Too Faced mm, uh, is it this one that I wanted or is it this one this is the sparkling bellini let's bring in sparkling bellini it's a little bit more on the peachy side okay so I'm gonna bring in the sparkling bellini it's bulky but it's really beautiful I think that's it three blushes and then there's one in yeah I think this is gonna be good <clears throat> and like I said the eyeshadow palette the last eyeshadow palette drawer in here I'm gonna skip because we already have three palettes let's go ahead and move on to uh, powders and then we do bronzers okay guys so for powders I pulled in the one that's uh, by Too Faced the loose one and then I pulled in a Char Charlotte Tilbury one I think what I do want to pull in um, is what are we thinking um Maybe like a mattifying powder, something that says matte. Ooh, kind of like that for under the eye. Or let's pull in something for under the eye. I'm going to pull in a pressed powder for under the eye. I really like, where is it? My, uh, I always reach for it. Where's the next one? This guy. Um, it's kind of like yellowish brightening. I'm going to pull this in. I know I always pull for it, but it's one of my favorite powders for under the eye and it's brightening. So I'm going to pull this in or maybe to get some more use out of this guy, this guy, the Brighten Up Banana Powder by Essence. I'm going to pull this in for under my eye. I think that is going to be it from here though. Um, I do have, or you know, let's, um, I want to bring in one more powder, kind of like a buffing powder and this isn't a project, but I kind of stopped using it. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to use it as a buffing powder all over the face. So I'm going to, this one, should I do this one or this one? Well, let's do this one. The Wet n Wild color icon. It says bronzer, but it's in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. I do use this kind of like a buffing powder and um, kind of like how I use the Hourglass Immune Lighting Powder. So I use it like that. So let's bring this in. Now let's go ahead and get some bronzers. Alrighty, so for bronzer, um, I want to pull in... Uh, I really, really like... Um, where is it? I really like the NARS one. So I'm going to bring this in. I know I just like, not that long ago I had it in there. I'm going to bring this in and I, this time I do want to bring this in. The Ulta Beauty Matte Bronzer. So I'm going to bring those two in. And I think, because we kept one from last time. I think this is it for bronzers. Just two bronzers. Those two. Um, let's go in for, do we need highlighter palettes? We're going to skip highlighter palettes and just go straight to highlighters. Okay, for highlighters, I know I pulled in that uh, loose one. And there are a couple options in the other palettes. But let's just still bring in one highlighter. Um, I think think something that I really haven't played with in a really really long time um, how about like maybe this Lorac one uh, this is in the shade daylight this I haven't played with in a while and this one as well the Too Faced this is kind of on the golden side which might be really nice this is you light up my life um, the love light highlighters so this is like actually really golden <gasps> Oh gosh, it might be too much. <laughs> I'm not thin enough yet. I, actually, I'm gonna hold on to this, and I'm gonna bring in the Lorac one. Let's do this. It's been a it's been a hot minute since I used this guy. Let's bring this in. Ready, you guys? I went ahead and uh, shot my stash off camera for lip products. These videos usually are like an hour long, and I'm trying my best to make them shorter. Um, yeah so uh i shot my stash like i said off camera for lip products let's go ahead through what's in here we'll do some swatches and then uh that would be it so for powders i there's a lot of powders in here like i think i have three basically buffing powders so i might or was it one two 
okay whatever well yeah three so uh i don't know i think i'm gonna i'm gonna keep this in but i am gonna take the milani out uh this is the wet and wild reserve your cabana uh powder i do use this kind of like a buffing powder like i said a finishing powder it has a really nice glow to it it's a little or a lot more powdery than um an ambient lighting powder but it's basically the same effect i do like to buff it all over the skin when i'm done with my makeup just kind of to blend everything together it's been really hot here i have to have like all of my windows closed and my curtains closed to keep out the sun so and my fan on and i'm relying on this light so i i do apologize about that it's kind of might be a little distracting um, so there's that powder I do have uh, for all over the face setting powder the hourglass veil powder I could actually use this as a buffing powder as well it works beautifully like that because it has kind of a little bit of glow to it and then uh, the Laura Mercier um, pressed powder this is the Kenlo glow sheer perfecting powder oh um, this guy got dirty um, this guy is beautiful as well kind of like the ambient lighting powders too um, I am going to be using this SM, Essence Brighten Up um, to set under my eye. Like I said, I am going to take this guy out. This is the Milani Prep Set and Glow. I'm going to take it out. I don't need that in the Wet n Wild powder. Uh, Peach Perfect by Too Faced. Uh, I heard so many good things about this. So I'm really excited to try it. I still haven't used it. So I'm looking forward to trying this guy um, to set all over the face. Uh, I did put in oh this little powder here. <laughs> Can't let that one get lost. It's so little it could easily get lost, right? So, oh, I, do I get a full use of this? I don't know. This is in medium. Charlotte Tilbury in medium, but I have been really wanting to get the full size. So I guess here's my chance to try it, see if I really like it or not. Um, for highlighters, oh, find out kind of stuck. Uh, Lorac Daylight uh, highlighter. Um, Let's do a swatch of this. I haven't used this in a really long time. Okay, it feels a little bit powdery, but it's a beautiful shade. It's a really beautiful color. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Now let's do a swatch of this Amuse Cosmetics Illuminating Loose Powder. And again, this is the shade Whimsical. Um, I went to like this, uh, what's it called? Hmm, that's interesting. Look at the lid uh like a discount uh what is the blowout sale like makeup blowout sale thing um and they all had like profusion that's when i got the profusion palette and this um so they had that kind of those kind of products there i think actually you can find them cheaper somewhere else but i had already went and so went with my sister-in-law so that was kind of fun Oh gosh, this is a little too dark maybe for highlighter for me. Wow, this is a little bit dark. But this is what this looks like. It's actually really beautiful, but it might be a little too dark for my skin tone currently. Um, looking forward to trying that. It's really blinding and just a little bit went quite a long way okay let's move on to bronzers and blushes uh i do have the wet n wild in your dragon me down um i had it in last time but i didn't use it so i'm gonna play with this guy looks a little bit on the warm tone which is completely fine ulta beauty matte bronzer and this is the shade warm i haven't used this guy before but i've had it for a while looks more like a contour shade but that's that's completely fine i can both pull in like both warm and cool tone and then nars laguna which i know it wasn't a long time since this was in here but this guy is absolutely stunning so there it is nars laguna uh, those are the bronzers like single bronzers let's swatch some blushes now okay for blushes i pulled in the Too faced sweethearts perfect flush blush in the shade sparkling bellini um, you technically could, there's three shades in here you can like concentrate your brush where you want it I have I like to swirl my blush all over all the three shades and then that's a little everything's feeling kind of powdery today for some reason um, it's really pretty it has like that iridescent kind of look to it Sh a little bit shimmery which I hey, I'm all for a glow 
uh, MAC Mother of Pearls. Hopefully this repressed uh, in a decent way that I... Oh yeah, I do get some color. Oh, so pretty. That's that one. Oh gosh, that is so pretty. It's like a, a glowy, pearly, um, berry shade. And then the last blush in here is Milani Big Blush in Dolce Pink. I really can't remember what this was supposed to be a dupe for. I want to say the NARS Orgasm, but I don't know. Maybe because the NARS Orgasm is kind of like blingy glittery. Um, so there's that. Now let's go ahead and do some swatches of the Hourglass palette and we'll do the Contour palette. I don't know that we need to do swatches of the Contour palette, but let's try it. Yeah, I never find any Profusion products at like TG Maxx. Not that I go often looking for them or at like Walmart. So when I went to that um, that makeup blowout thing, I saw this and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it. I want to see what the hype's about. So there's a highlighter, two setting pop, two highlighting powders, but this is like an actual highlighter. And then looks like a contour shade, a bronzer shade, and this is way too dark to be used on me. Let's watch the highlighter. Ooh, these are so soft. And like the banana shades. Um, let me try over here. Here's one of the banana shades. I guess these could be used under my eyes too. I didn't think about that when I pulled in that banana powder. Okay, not a whole lot of color out of these, but who knows, maybe on the face they'll perform nicely. And then let me go ahead and swatch the contour and the bronzer shade. So this is the contour and this, oh, sorry, bronzer and contour. These are very pigmented and I think this is just way too dark for me. Like, okay, way too dark. <laughs> okay, um, five out of the six, not so, not so bad. I think these will be really nice. Let me clean my hands. And then the Hourglass palette. Again, this is the Ambient Unlocked. Uh, these two are finishing powders, bronzer, two blushes, and a highlighter. Uh, let's do first row. Felt like... All of the Hourglass products are kind of very light, but I still love them. Okay, I really like those finishing powders. I think they'll be, this one might be a better match for my skin tone than this one. This kind of looks a little bit like a highlight. And then let's watch the blush, another blush, and the highlighter. Okay, here's one blush, the other blush. Ooh, that's so beautiful. That is a really pretty blush, and that's a really nice highlighter. Um, so there it is. I finally was able to get this palette. I, I was so sad when I placed uh, an order at Sephora and then they canceled my order that it was sold out. Um, that was way back in November. Um, so in here I put in this primer by MAC. Uh, this guy, I mean, nothing changed in here. Uh, here's my, here's the other concealer by Joa. I tend to take these off. <laughs> I do it. I did it with the Maybelline one because I don't like how this feels and like it soaks up so much product and just so I just usually twist and use how much however much I need. But well, I guess uh, for now I'm gonna keep it in here. I did put in that Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay and then here's that Ulla Hen Henriksen Banana Bright uh, Face Primer. Uh, I tried it on my hand at Sephora. And it did leave kind of like a, an illuminating look to the face. I was like, okay, I might have to pick this guy up. It's not like glittery or chunks of glitter or anything like that. It just looked illuminated, like very well hydrated and dewy. It smells really nice. I wouldn't say it smells like bananas, but it smells really nice. So that's what that guy looks like. It's very, like I said, healthy, like dewy looking skin. Maybe a little bit illuminating. I can see a little bit of difference between like where the primer stopped and then my knuckle ended. So a little bit of glow. And then for foundations, like I said, I have the Smashbox Studio Wear 15 Hours Studio Skin. And this is in the shade Light Medium and the undertone is Neutral. 
And then the Maybelline uh, foundation in shade 128 Warm Nude. Okay, for eyeshadow palettes. Oh, and I do have um, the setting spray by Joa in here. For eyeshadow palettes, I pulled in the Festival by Juvia's. Uh, I haven't used this guy and I've had it for a long time. It's look, bright, really bright colors, but that's that's okay. I do have the Sultry by Anastasia. Um, I picked it up just because it was, well, I really wanted it and then it went on sale at Ulta. So I went ahead and picked it up. Did I use this? Is the brush supposed to be this color or is it used? Oh, I guess it's supposed to be this color. I was like, oh my God, the brush is used. Okay. <laughs> Um, so there's that and then let's do a couple swatches of this BH Cosmetics palette um, Desert Oasis um, These are supposed to be highlighters. Let's go ahead. Ooh let's Try this guy try this one. This is this looks too dark, but it kind of looks like that and use highlighter that I just swatched oh ho, ho. What in the world That is some amazing formula wow damn those are beautiful let's do swatches of some of the eyeshadows i really want to swatch this one make sure my fingers are dry i want to do these yeah oh my gosh okay so this is the shade cactus oh, i love shades like this um, this is the shade turquoise. Hmm, I wouldn't call this a turquoise shade, but okay. This is the shade hot spring. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Hot springs. My god, the formula is amazing. And this is the shade heat haze. Wow. Oh my gosh. I mean, I know BH Cosmetics has some amazing formula, but I guess maybe some of the palettes that I have are older. I haven't picked up too many of the new palettes that they have. Um, let's watch the shade Mineral. And how about we do a matte? Let's do the darker matte, which is Dune. I wonder if you can use this as like a bronzer. So I'm going to do them over here. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited to play with this palette. I feel like this could be here for more than two weeks. Or this might be something that I would travel with. By the way, I do have a trip coming up, so not this week, but the week after I will be gone. So some of these stuff I'm going to take with me on travel this time around. I'm not going to shop too crazily again. So there's that. Let me clean my hands and then let's do some lipstick swatches. Alrighty, um, and I do have the Smashbox Primer Water. I'm not going to forget that. Uh, for lipsticks, I shopped my stash for somewhat a little bit of everything I guess uh, I really wanted some reds because I do have two kind of neutral palettes um, so for reds I pulled in this Kate uh, it's a Rimmel London and this is the Kate like line and this is the shade 10 red let me make sure my hands are completely dry from the wipes um, I gotta be able to squeeze all of those in so here's that it's really beautiful, cool tone lipstick. It's absolutely stunning. Actually, it looks a little bit on the warmer side on the camera, but it is kind of like a blue undertone. So cool tone lipstick. I pulled in this Dose of Colors. Um, those are like the matte lipsticks, and this is in the shade Talk is Chic. Uh, I, since I bought it, I, ha I don't think I've used this guy. So this is more on like berry tone, like actual berry, not red. Um, kind of, I would say like a raspberry color. It's really beautiful and the formula is really great. Then let's do kind of like stay with the pinks. Um, I pulled this in because I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I've had it a long time in my collection. I'd have to toss it out. And this is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade is Sugar Cookie. Um, hopefully. Okay, still smells good. It doesn't have a funny smell or anything. Um, this is kind of an easy to use lip gloss. You don't have to use it on top of anything, but that's what that looks like. And then the last one that's kind of like on the crazy colors or bright colors is the Ciate London Lip Luster in Call Me. And like I said, I got this in Ipsy. I can't remember what, mo what month. Okay, this is like... <laughs> doesn't have any color at all. So 
might work more as like a lip topper, which I'm all like, I like glosses, so I'm not sad about that. Um, another gloss that I kind of pulled in or a lip topper, this is the Revolution lip topper and the shade is Luxurious. I spilled somewhere. This reminds me a lot of, um, but now pulling it again, it does not remind me at all of the Fenty Beauty. I thought it might be close to the Fenty Beauty, but this is way golden and the Fenty Beauty is more like nude pink. So there's that, but it's so beautiful. Like that on top of like a dark red lipstick would look really pretty. I pulled in this Bobbi Brown lipstick in the shade, is, this is the Lux lip color and the shade is Neutral Rose. Um, so, okay, that's really beautiful. Um, like a pinky nude. Neutral Rose. <laughs> I pulled in the NARS uh, Velvet Lip Glide in Swing. I absolutely love these. Like the formula is amazing. And then the colors are just so like everyday, very wearable. And like, again, the formula, these have to be like some of my favorite formula lipsticks. So I pulled in two from this line. One, like I said, the shade was swing which is this one and then the other shade is district so this is kind of more kind of corally i figured you know um neutral eyeshadow palettes so again i can't wait to use these the formula is great and then the one i kept from last time which is the bite in the shade glacé I don't know. I don't know how i feel about this shade. I feel like maybe it's too cool tone for me. Um, I'm gonna give it a shot, see if I like it, use it a little bit more, and yeah, we'll see where, where we go from there. I think this is it, you guys. This might have been like my shortest shop my stash ever. Usually they're long. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you in the next one. If you have any comments or anything like that, leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to chat with you. Again, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.